This is an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use masks with color effects. There are three types of masks in Premiere. Circles, rectangles, and freehand beziers, which you've seen me draw. Masks can be stationary, not changing in size or position. Tracked, automatically moved based upon a video element and keyframed, manually moved based upon reference points in the video. Let me show you more about masks in Premiere. This time I don't need scopes, so we'll make the scopes disappear. I'm going to go back to editing to give ourselves some more room to work. See this clip here? If you type the letter F, it automatically loads a match frame inside the source monitor. So you can see what it looks like. Let's go to Effect Controls, and there's no Lumetri control here. How am I supposed to apply a color mask if there's no color setting in the effect controls? Select the clip, go back to the color, and this time I'm going to go to, oh, let's go to curves. No, we'll go to color wheels. I'm going to jog the color wheel up and then double click it so it goes back to its default. And when I do, the Lumetri color is added over here. I'll use the rectangular control and create a mask and put it around the train engine. By the way, these images are courtesy of model railroad builders, Fran and Miles Hale, and I'm always grateful they shared the footage with me. Notice that my playhead is at the beginning of the clip, and notice under Lumetri Control there are these arrows here. If I click the right pointing arrow, Premiere goes through the clip, sees how the train engine moves, and changes the position of the mask to exactly match the engine. Watch. Is that not cool? Except there's no color effect going on. Hmm. What I think we should do is take the saturation all the way out. Except now the train engine's black and white. Well, that's not what I want. I want the background to be black and white. I want the train engine to stay in color. So I'm going to go back to the Lumetri control, go down to the mask, and I'm going to invert it. Everything that was in black and white is now color. Everything is colors black and white. And now as I play this clip, we have our colorful train engine moving through black and white scenery. <laughs> this is me at, at BVE doing a close to my podcast, Digital Production Buzz. Except I forgot to bring a light. And it's really kind of dark. And you can't see me, which is wrong. With the, you want the clothes, you want people to see who you are. So we're going to go back to color wheels. I'm going to jog this up and down just so I can get the Lumetri panel back. Now here I'm going to use a rectangular mask. Drag it all the way over to here and down. Right about there. Now let's pull the midtones up. A lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. I had a purple shirt on. Who knew that? Pull the black level down just a bit. Pull the mid-tones up a bit. Pull the highlights up a bit. So I... Why, he has a face. This is outstanding. A little washed out, though. Let's go to creative. Pull the vibrance up. Make it look like I've seen the sun at some point. Right about there. And the problem is when I play it, that's a pretty harsh line. So I'm going to change feathering, which softens the edge, to 100. And now as I play this clip, I walk into this brighter, I walk in, cue the talent, I walk into this brighter clip, and it looks like there's light on my face, and yet the feathering is gentle enough that you don't see that difference in color grading between where I'm adjusting the color and where I'm not. Masks can be keyframed. Masks can be automatically tracked based upon something that's moving. Or masks can be set in place and stationary. And you've got all these different choices. Plus you can make them circular or rectangular or draw a freehand shape. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools and effects in Adobe Premiere Pro. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 279.
By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com membership. And thanks.